What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Apathy. Today, we're going to be reacting to me winning champs in 2018 World War II. And I feel like that's the best video to do right now with Vanguard coming up, which is basically a Modern Warfare remastered World War II edition. So I thought, why not react to the champs I won? Kind of uh, talk about some things and also kind of talk about what's going through my mind and give it a nice little watch before we get into the super Vanguard grind. But enough talking. Let's get right into it. So basically, to give you guys a little bit of backstory, if you aren't familiar with uh, me winning champs in 2018, or if you kind of forgot, uh, basically, we're in grand finals versus, versus TK. Um, we end up going up 2-0, and we got reverse swept. We lost last map. They forced a second best of five. They actually smoked us out on London docks um, pretty bad. I mean, it was close in a way, but, you know, they did beat us. They were considered, like, the best London docks team in the tournament. Um, but you know, we kind of got better at it as the year went on. And this was kind of a map where, um, we had potential, but we just weren't the best at it. And TK, like I said, were very dominant. So we start off so hot. Um, this actually ends up going to the last second and we win by like 10 points. Um, we know we somehow win this map. I mean, you know, we just put a lot of effort, put a lot of, just, uh, put our mind to it and just kind of grinded it out. And we ended up winning this match, which is, which is a huge first map. To take that first map versus TK after getting reverse sw uh, swept is huge for momentum and just confidence. So that was a really big win. Look at me, happily gunning some kids. Nice little punch uh, fly out. <laughs> Dolphin dive, as you, we used to call it back in the day. Huh. These kids, man, very young. Um, but yeah, this, this was a very tough map. And um, the fact that we were able to take it was freaking huge. To go up 1-0 in the series. Uh, if they win this map, honestly... I don't know how the tournament goes just because, you know, you're looking at maybe a last map uh, match. Like, this is going game five if they, if they would have won this map. Potentially, they would have won the whole series. So, Kenny starts heating up here. Accuracy starts heating up here. You can see it more towards the middle of the game. They start uh, basically almost tied it up. He's, accuracy gets, goes on a seven. He's on, he has a streak. Uh, Farrell was on a five or four. Kenny was on a five. Like, these guys were absolutely, like, bringing this back. And this is terrifying, right? You have, you have like, a 70-point lead. Things are going well. And, you know, we just kept composure. And ch in champs, you never lose full. You never give up. That's one rule I always, like, stood by. Um, You know, I always tried my best. I always tried, like, put my best foot forward no matter situation. I think it's just, like, so much on the line. And you just have to, like... You can't give up like you can't like that's how white and champs sometimes you see the most incredible comebacks because everyone knows what's on the line you know on top of the big prize pool of money um it's just the most prestigious event everyone wants to win a ring and you just you know mentally you can't give up and you know we were fighting every second of this map and this match so as you can see going towards the end it gets very crazy damn kenny is nasty he's a good just and silly um, but you can see Accuracy's calling the fighter pilot. Like, we're up by 12. Like, game is so close after we had such a hot start. Uh, these guys are just so freaking good at this map. Um, I'm just trying to hold it down here, get one. I feel like, damn, I wasn't cracked enough. I would have killed that second guy. Um, but, you know, teams are teammates are winning big gunfights. Adam Assault is positive 10. Justin is 32 and 29. A lot of interactions. Silly was, was such a beast in his game. Um, I just got gunned there, but let's not <laughs> let's ignore that. <laughs> um, Pat and I are struggling a little bit, but I feel like, you know, we have a lot of engagements. That was something Pat and I were always good at. Like, we might not consistently play the best sometimes. Uh, but we were always trying to make winning plays and just putting, putting a lot of pressure on the other team. So, they tie it up, I believe, right here. Look, the score is going to be tied right here. It's terrifying. We get two. Um, big, big map. So, right here, I believe we rotate. We get the rotation. We're in a really good spot here. Pat loses a gunfight that was kind of huge. I think Adam dies here. I win the big one in the back. Adam dies here too. So they both die. I'm on the point. No, just is on the point. I think he's about to get naded. They're trying to rush in. We're just pre-firing. We're trying to hold it down. And we win it right there at the last second. And that was a big first map. Like I said, after getting reverse swept. And they had the most, con like the biggest confidence. Uh, momentum. You know, winning this first map. Especially one of their best maps in the game. Like was huge for us. And then we had map two, Ardens for Sardini. This map was honestly one of our best S and D maps. We, uh, thanks to Bevels and just all of us, on, like um, being on top of it, uh, we went over a lot of strats. Uh, we revamped our S and D a little bit going into champs, and uh, we had like you know smokes lined up, nades lined up. We worked very hard in this map. You guys won't believe it, but before champs, 
uh i remember as a team we all knew this one day that you you know you throw down over like over the the alley you basically throw it over the wall down the alley and it hits like the rush if they try to rush um to which bomb is it to uh not this bomb site the other one i forgot what the i forgot the bombs i think it's b bomb says that one's a um but we spent hours practicing that one nade because for some reason there were such little things you would do that would mess up the nade so i remember like i'm gonna do this for one more hour i end up doing it for another hour and i'm doing it for another hour and i just kept doing it over and over again with like assault and uh, uh aches was doing it with us and i think silly kind of had it down he he i don't know he was busy maybe that night uh but we're just all of us bevels like we're all of us in a private match for hours like a week before champs just practicing that nade just chucking it chucking it until like we had it down like 90 percent of the time because those are the little things that make the difference like you know a strat has to for in order for it to go right you have to hit the nade like if we call a strat and we butcher the nade it's just it might be chalk like the round's chalk so we worked really hard on lineups on strats on uh just like kind of getting what we want to do in the map down and you see some of the strats and come and play like i think this is a split where uh yeah, 2-2 two, two split here. I don't know. Wow, I almost died doing that. I could have probably killed him. Just tied, tagging him up, just finessing. That's why something I, I really was really good at search. And I love search, man. Search and store is actually really fun in Call of Duty. But this is this is one of our best maps. When we played him the first best of five, I think we won like 6-1. I believe we win this like 6-0. We fried them this map. So we're all 5-0. Like you can see, uh, Pat's frying. He's 9-1. Pat's really good at S&D. And I call them by the first names because it's what I'm used to. <laughs> but Aches, uh, he's a really good SD player. Um, Cyber versus Sniper. You can see um, we're just absolutely dom dominating them on this map. They just really don't have an answer for us. Uh, our, our strats are working really well. The way we're playing against them is working really well. You can tell like we're really prepared. And they're kind of like, they, they know what they're doing and they have kind of strats, but they're kind of free flowing a bit. So I'm laying down here. I have help. I'm just pre firing. I died, and I was like, damn, we didn't get trade, which sucks in this situation. But we are in a 4v3, and we still have good positioning. Damn! Dude, Pharaoh was so nasty, man. RIP to the fucking legend, man. Do we win this? Oh, I think we went 6-1. Okay, so we don't win 6-0. So we tell Saul to play for a streak here. He gets the streak, but we lose the round. But we're still 5-1. Assault has a streak. He's working his way towards a fighter pilot. A streak on this map is so freaking good, especially in SD. So you're going to see us. I think we're going to do it right here. Three of us are going down the alley right here. He's throwing a nade. I'm throwing a nade. This is another nade, but we're throwing a nade over. We get two. Look, we nade accuracy. We double nade the tank behind. Kill him. Justin. Damn. Pat gets that huge kill. Farrell gets two here. I think I kill him here. I think I have help. And we, we win 6-1. But you can see like this. Two-piece nade, accuracy, kill the guy running down the middle right away because we have people there. And then it's already a 2v4 or 4v2, however you want to call it. And bang, up 2-0. At this point, man, we, we were up 2-0 in the last uh, best of five, but we're feeling obviously really good. Uh, momentum is a huge thing in in esports and sports and Call of Duty. Like, when you go up 1-0, go up 2-0, like, you are freaking pumped. And that momentum carries on. Like, it really does. Like, your confidence is all-time high. The vibes are high. And you know, like, you just need one more. <sighs> so this was 2018. What was this? Three years ago. Almost four years ago now. Um, you guys don't know the backstory too much. We didn't qualify for season two playoffs. Um, it was a kind of it was kind of a choke. And uh, we kind of went this tournament, just revamping our gameplay a little bit, working really hard day in and day out. I put my whole mind, body, soul into the game and really just worked on improving as a player, but obviously also like fixated on focusing on the team. That's something I really became more of a veteran and a leader to some degree um, as the years went on. Like, kind of like, you know, helping my team improve and not only focusing on me. So we're up 2-0. Um, Black Tower CTF. This is, we definitely don't play this all the time, but uh, I mean, we're decent at it. <laughs> and I think they were really good at uh, the other ones, uh, London Docks and Ardens for us. So... Oh, uh, we decided to go. Nice little drop shot. After the... Ooh, the finesse. Yeah, player life. Huge, huge, huge to player life. 
This winning this tournament was kind of uh, surreal in a way, but we'll talk about that soon. Um, Kenny's off to a hot start too. Jesus, three zero. Dude, Kenny's actually really nasty. Kenny's like gameplay is crazy sometimes because he's definitely like he knows what he's doing. He just has a lot of raw talent, Gunny. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's crazy watching Kenny play sometimes because like he's definitely smart. He like makes really like heads up plays but like his play style is so like running gun like sprinting catching people off guard and like he just guns them like it's so weird oh my god flag tower was so like back and forth like so back and forth we've been do we were doing so well playing defense here Nice. Huge kills from all of us. Like, we're doing such a good job of, like... All it takes is one kill, and then we keep spawning up and keep defending. And that's how it kind of flag tower plays. So, we're doing pretty well. Like, a good job of just keep finessing over and over again. Adam's for a four streak. I think Assault doesn't get a lot of uh, credit that he deserves, honestly. I think Assault's a really good player. I think he's a great teammate. Uh, one of my favorite teammates of all time, for sure um good has a great mindset i i can understand sometimes he can be very uh camera let's go two i understand sometimes he's not the most explosive player but like when he's on his game and he gets really nasty like he is like he is dominant in his role in like an ar role defense staying alive bait us all gets the kill behind me look how crazy it is when you value your life like how that play develops like let's say i get one and just get instantrated and like if we probably you know there's a chance we don't even get that flag out he's on a six i'm on a four but like valuing your life like you see players like simp do that a lot you see a lot of the top tier players do that more nowadays um and it it, it, it take like it can take you so far in a play or in a situation it can be a big difference like in whether it's holding a hill or losing a hill like one over chow and that's it and like players are starting to become really good at that, especially like the best players. And then Adam got four streaks. Adam was frying this event. So right here we're up 1-0. There's about a minute left. I, I kind of sneak, try to sneak through to maybe get a flag. I shoot this guy in the back. Justin gets one. It's 2v4. If I'm going to pull, I got to kind of pull now. But I know there's a guy here, so I'm not able to. In this situation, man, flag tower, like... You got to be careful because you don't want to play too defensive because one little like wipe and they could potentially pull flag and win or, or tie. But on flag tower CTF, like if you get a lead, like, I mean, that's a CTF in general. But if you get like a lead, there's times where if you play it right, you can you can stay at that lead. We just played uh, defense there pretty much 10, 15 seconds left. We just played defense. Make sure we all uh, we have the 1-0 lead. So at this point of the game, the pressure is all on them. We're up 2 hole. We're up 1-0. We have streaks. They know it. They know they have to go off. They have to like really, you know, war like steal the win from us. Damn. Again, it's a little hot. He's trying to chase me. Finesse, finesse, value, value. Oof, almost killed him, but my teammate gets a trade. You see, that's a situation where, let's say I die right away. Sidley's not able to get that trade because I died. He can, Now that guy's just going to run away. But the fact that I finesse, bought time, made the guy overextend, I might die, but at least my teammate gets a trade right away, which is a big difference because now they have one less player in our base. Here, if we all if we secure one more flag, like we basically win, unless these guys like go like start just frying. Nice, Pat gets two. Oh, you almost killed Lamar. That would have been freaking crazy. Pressure's all on them, man. They are probably they're probably yelling call outs. They probably are feeling like just all like an immense amount of pressure on them right now. They give me a little cheesy spot. Credit, credit spot, credit spot. Ah, oh, he checked it. So right here is three minutes left. This is where it starts getting a little crazy. But as long as we keep grabbing some kills, like flag tower CTF, it's hard to pull. I think enable enable makes a good play here, but try to sneak. But I think we stun check them. I think I hit on my stun. That's why attack checking is so good. Like the stun did almost nothing in this mode. Um, but as long as you're th you know just throwing it for info is huge. A lot of people already had attack. Yeah, I kill one, but he kills me. 
He gets two, but our defense is too strong, so he's the only one alive. So you see, like, in the mini-map, if you look at it really quick, we're just holding them in. Like, we, they have two minutes. They need to advance. We have uh, the mid. We have left. We have right. Pat gets to kill left. Um, Assault dies. I think, yeah, he dies to the guy right, but we're able to trade that right away. I come back to trade. Now, I have right. I said mid's open. Now, Silly has mid. Like, we're just flowing through the map and kind of, like, holding them in and making them make the mistake first before we advance because there's no need for us to advance realistically like we need to, we can let them make the first move kill them and then move up because they're the ones that need to move so we're just making like really heads up strategic plays uh, or like fundamental plays you can say silly also has a glide bomb which is nice i don't think assault has used any of his streaks either so you can see flag tower like if we're if you're playing your well and fundamental like it's so hard for them to make a play we get four down, move up again. Just kind of holding them in, not not trying to overextend. Just they got to run to us. Fighter probably comes in from assault. I don't know about this play, but uh, I guess it's trying to go for a flag cap. Or right, Justin gets two. I guess it works out well. I think Pharaoh almost makes a play here. But like we back up. We just guarantee it. Three dead. Once we cap this second flag, we got streaks. He calls a streak on the flag. He doesn't care. We're up 2-0. 30 seconds left. Like at this point, we're still going hard, but at this point, we're like, dude, we probably we just won. But like we're still calling out. We're like, we're like, let's go, let's go. Like one on me, one on me, mid-D, pull flag, pull flag. Because like it's not over until it's over. But I get to stop right here. Play for the stop only. He got two. Once we get this re right here, or once the flag was stopped, we pretty much knew it was GG's. And that's GG's right there, man. What a surreal feeling, bro. We won. I couldn't believe I couldn't believe it, man. I worked so freaking hard to win this event, and my teammates worked so hard, and we put our mind, soul, and everything into it. We trusted each other. We worked hard every day. Like I said, you know, we 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 put in so much time into it. And when we won, like, I knew in my mind, like, we can do it, and like, it was possible. But we, you guys don't, you guys, to put into perspective, we were considered like, like one of the worst teams out of the pro teams. We were like the bottom. We were, we didn't make the, we didn't even qualify for the season two playoffs. Like, do you understand? Like, and that was like a month difference. Do you understand like how crazy it is to accomplish something like that from being like all the way to the bottom a month later to winning the biggest event of the year? Like, it's actually freaking insane, man. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy that we won. And I couldn't believe it. And I didn't believe it. It was one of those things where it just felt like I was in the Matrix. It felt like I was in a movie. Like how I was like, I know I won. I won champs. I'm happy. But how the fudge did we just win champs? Like, how? How? You know? It was one of those things, like, it was so crazy. Like, you mentally can't process it because you don't understand how. But you know what happened and you know why, essentially. But, like, still, how? But, man, it just shows, man. Anything. I, I'm a big believer in anything you set your mind to. Uh, you can accomplish and, and i'm a big believer that hard work does pay off but you have to work smart as well it's not only about working hard it's about you know quality uh sometimes over quality so uh like i said we put in so much time i i by myself can say i put in so much time and effort day in and day out i remember we boot camped at the eg house for like a week before champs and i was literally playing all day and then if i wasn't playing i was watching vods for like two hours like watching other teams watching other players watching myself play and I was just really on top of it. And uh, I just really wanted to win. And I wanted to not have, not end the year at such a shit way. Like, they didn't qualify for season two playoffs. Um, super depressed about that. And I was like, you know what? Well, we got one tournament left. We got the biggest tournament left. We got to make some magic happen. If we want to, if I could, if I want to look back at this year and at this tournament or champs and be like, you know what? I might have had a kind of a shit year because it was a pretty bad year. I might have had a shitty year or bad year, but you know what? I won champs or you know what? I did well at champs and it doesn't, I mean, winning it kind of made up for it, <laughs> but even mentally, like if I didn't win it, if I just did well, you know, I was sort of 
I wouldn't say satisfied, but I'm I'm content that, you know, I kind of turned the year around a bit. But winning it was just the icing on the cake. And man, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Uh, shout out to the boys, Silly Assault, Aches. I know this is a while ago, but those guys are talented. Those guys have a great winning mentality. And you know what's something low key? I hope to see Aches back in the league. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. <sighs> but either way, guys, thank you for watching. If you watched the whole thing, I appreciate it. It's been your boy Apathy. Uh, I'm going to be grinding Vanguard. I'm going to be posting a lot of Vanguard videos, a lot of Vanguard tips. And then we got the new Warzone map coming out in a month, which I'll be super active on as well. I'm going to make an Apathy Shorts channel as well. So get ready to check that out. And we're going to be posting content everywhere. You guys know I'm a full-time content creator now. And I'm going to be working my ass off. And I enjoy it, man. I love making content. You can always check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy, which I'm live pretty much every day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.